What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ace Videos. Today we are on a new. I will, actually, it's not a new lake. I was about to say it's a brand new lake. I've not been here in years, though. Um, this is called Anderson Reservoir, and I guess I'll tell it because it's kind of a community lake. No secrets here, but um, beautiful mountain reservoir. And I've not been here since I was like. I don't know, 16. I used to belong to a youth bass club and uh, we fished a tournament here. And so I'm out here today with my dad and brother and we're gonna go fish brand new areas. Let's do it. So with us today is my uh, brother Micah from Get Busy Living Videos. Link to his channel in the description. And uh, I want to mash that link. And then mash the subscribe button when you get there. Okay, okay. Go check out his channel. you love yourself. And um, I also have subscribers sending stuff to him through my P.O. box. <laughs> also, and then if we you have... want to send me anything, use his P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> then we have my dad. Is that here with us today? Just us three on the boat. We have a chance of kokanee today, which is a real interesting uh, thing. Um, if we feel like trying to catch some kokanee, but mostly we're going to target bass. And then, of course, you always catch some random trout when you're targeting bass. So bass, trout, kokanee three main species today. Guys, you have the brand new Ace Videos Tackle Box. Link in description. Actually, I should stop saying brand new after it's been out for weeks. But if you guys want to check it out in the description below, six of my favorite tubes. Only 20 bucks, which is cheaper than if you went to the store and grabbed, tried to pay out all of these colors. I'm going to start off with this, uh, my favorite smallie color, Changeable Craw in there. And uh, this orange one, though, might come into play because I have a feeling that the crown is actually might be more orangish. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I'm going to start off with this one just because this is my confidence tube. All right, guys, I'm actually using, this is a funny story, I have this old Shimano Sahara, which I probably used back when I first fished on this lake. I've had this reel since I was 12 years old. You actually got it for me for my birthday back oh, is that right? when I was 12. And she runs a little rough, but uh, I'm pretty fond of her looking. See, like, like things are chipping and like the whole plate is gone there and stuff. But uh, I still, that is a long, uh-huh, yep, I'm using them all the time, every week, pretty much. Uh, Shimano Sahara is a good reel. In fact, I'll put a link to Shimano Sahara reel in the description if you guys want to check them out because they have lasted me a long time. You can kind of hear the grinding. That's no problem though. No problem whatsoever. A happy little grind. Yeah. There are no problems here. Just happy little grinds. That's a solid one. Solid. It was like under the boat. Okay. Can somebody get the net, please? Yeah, yeah. I get the net. Woo! Where do you want to? Right up here. No, no, up here, up here. No, wait, it's a frame in the back. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master netter. <laughs> yeah. I've got a master's degree in netting. That was a four year school. Dude, this is a good fish. That is a good fish. Come on, bring him to. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Safe in these Oh beans. man, look at that! That's a pork. What a start, guys! Woo look at that nice. big smolly! Woo! Whoa! Guys, look at that bronze back! You yes. should weigh that one up, bro. Let's keep oh, it yeah. Lay it up, yeah! yeah. I, I say we do a, um, some kind of a challenge here, John. Little tournament? Yeah. I don't mind doing a tournament Good after fish? catching a fish like that. Three pounds no. even! No. Three pounds even, guys! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Guys, check out my tube box. It's dynamite. This is changeable crawl, my favorite smallmouth color. So check it out, guys. We got this kind of some rocky bank now, something different. Fish all along those flats. But we only scored a solitary fish. I was a good one though. A hermit fish. Got one. No way. Mm hmm. You guys just ain't living right. Who right feels like another. The bank, wasn't it? Uh, that was, it was right on that rock pile right there, guys. Okay. Woo! Do you need a net, bro? I think I got this one. It's not, it's not a big one, but it's a solid fish. Solid. The water is clear. Oh, he choked that tube, guys. Choked it. Did that fish want that tube or what, guys? Ooh, this is gonna be one of those ones. You know, we're gonna have to do that little line trick. 
And then, ooh, this is tough. This is tough. Got to pull it the other way. And there we go. Tube comes out. Gosh, look how skinny that fish is. That's definitely spawned out. Maybe I should keep and eat this one. There you go. It is 12 inches. That's like the perfect eating size where it's not a giant. It's like 12, 13 inches and it's really skinny. It's probably a male or a spawned out female. We're going to keep this, guys. We might eat this one later if we don't catch a trout or something. Let me take our bucket and we fill her up for the smother. And there we go. We got our little uh, prisoner there. Let's see if he makes the chopping block though. He's not dead yet. All right, guys, me and just gonna jump off on shore and he's gonna go look for some morel mushrooms up in this uh, little draw here. By the way, the reason I call him me ancient, there's an interesting story behind that. So several years ago, I was watching this old BBC series called The Pickwick Papers. And one of the highlights for me was the funny relationship between Sam Weller and his father. And at one point in the series, Sam sees his dad and addresses him thus. It's London. It's my father. How are you, me ancient? Oh, this is my master, Mr. And at that point in the movie, I turned to my dad and said, I'm going to start calling you me ancient, just as kind of a joke. And I called him a couple times, me ancient, just, just for fun when we were together. Uh, and eventually, it stuck. Uh, I didn't like calling him my olden. But me ancient seemed funny, and that was the one that stuck. Great pair of such. You have made an uncommon fine oyster if you'd have been born in that station of life. Oh, this, I should have managed to pick up a good living. There we go, evidence of crawdad. Well, let's head on up. All right, I made my way up. There's a, there's a, not morels, there's some mushrooms there. That's a good sign. I don't know. I've never hunted up morels in Idaho, but I know we have them. I bought them before. And uh, there was a fire up here a couple years back. So they say after a fire, it's the time you go, you go hunting for them. You can kind of see the blackened tree here. It's dead. All right, another mushroom again, not the right kind. I don't know what that is, so can't eat it, but it's a good sign they're coming up. Well, there's elk sign right there, elk scat. One embedded down here. Doesn't look too recent, but the last few days, I guess. Trying to come come up quite a ways. You can see. We'll keep going up a ways. See if we can't find something. But uh, I'm telling you guys, we got to be coming up on some here pretty soon. There's another mushroom. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but inside this tree. There's something tapping. That's crazy. I wonder if it's something that got in up high. Can't get out, but you can hear it. Wish I could help you in there. Sorry, I can't. All right, my friends. Got mushrooms here. Not the right kind though. They are out. There's some more there. Some more there. We'll find them. Hopefully. Yeah, great bait. It's like an eight dollar one. You got one? Pops has one, boys. All right. I'll get the net. I don't know if we need the net. You don't need... <laughs> okay. I'm snagged. Come on. Oh, we need to go back there. So. Okay, yeah, I need to go back. I'm not losing that $8 crankbait. I'll net your fish, Pops. You know what you're doing with this net? Uh, I'm going to extend this bad boy to full length. Yeah, yes. Oh, look. He spit up a minnow spit or something. I got him. Yes. Man, yours is bigger than mine. That's about eat size. That's like 12 and a half inches. There you go. Nice job, huh? Good job. All right. Yeah, that, okay, so all three of us have an eaten fish. Oh, good. Then we can just, re, if we want to keep that one, all sure. we just, everything else, we can just release. All right, so we got a little small mouth for each of us. A little dinner for later. If we don't, if we don't catch any coke any. Every time we keep some small mouth, there are always some people that are like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I can't believe, I can't believe you 
kept a small mouth. I'm unsubscribing from this channel. Two fish in me ancient just, just lost in the wait. No, that's a rock. Yeah, Rockosaurus bit. I thought we might have us a piggy wiggy on here, but negatory. Well you do have, it's just like a hundred pounder, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got one. Oh I got he got off. I got smacked though. I got I got walloped. You got I think it loop. actually was a small fish because it was like pfft. Oh it's out! Yeah! Come here, you bomber of beauty. And yeah, maybe we just had to get parallel to the shore. Because when we got parallel to the shore, we started getting into strikes. And I got one right there. He he, he hit it so hard, he threw slack in the line. Yeah, gum, sir. Woo! Nice. Ace is in on it. I do, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, I got it. I met my own fish since nobody. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes! Number three for me, and it's another solid one. This might be a spawner because it's quite fat. Look at that, she just plucked that Rapala crankbait. And don't nobody tell me it's a Rapala. It's a Rapala crankbait there. Nice, Molly. The fish popped it so hard. Another gorgeous, gorgeous bronze bag. This is fun. Sticks up here in shallow water. Top water. Top water time, is that what you said? Yeah. Top water time. Might be, with how clear the water is. Oh. Oh, thanks, bro. You're welcome. <laughs> Again. Wait, I might have. Got one. Face hey, half. Yes! Right up, cast it up. That was first cast up on the flats. You need a net? Um, no, he's not that giant. Nice. That's right, bro. Right Sweet. Up the nine, like nine water. Oh, he choked the tube. Guys went back to the tube. Got a fat one. This might be a spawner. Yes. Tube. Dry Creek tube, guys. Dynamite. Guys, I got one off camera. I was putting on sunscreen and all of a sudden my line just started to take off. I left it out there. This is a good one. Uh, so it was like it was dead sticking, just to let you guys know. When he picked it out, it was just, my tube was just laying on the bottom. I was putting on that bottle of sunscreen and he picked it up. Oh, he did suck that down, man. Got him. Oh man, guys, look how he, hmm. <laughs> This is going to be a difficult one. Folks, it's cooking time. We still have a lot of daylight left, but I'm just really hungry and some fried bass sounds delicious. So we have here, hidden behind the seat, our cutting board. I'm just going to do basic fillet job on this bad boy. Good clean fillet job there. Drop them down. For the catfish. Guys, check it out. The smallmouth. This came out of its stomach as I was bleeding it out. It's a little tiny. That looks like a perch to me. A little baby perch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a perch. Interesting. Since this smallmouth is a little smaller, guys, we're actually just going to cook him whole. I've scaled him and then gutted him and took the gills out. So we're just going to well, I almost dropped him in the water. I'm just going to keep him like that. Pops needs the net, guys. We got a fish. Oh, my game. I'm going to hold the camera if you could uh, net him. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice, Pops. Nice. That is a solid. That's probably two. A little over two. That's on that. Cool. Old ugly. What is it? I don't. Oh, it's, uh, it's called changeable, changeable craw. craw. Yeah. Dry That's Sweet. A too. I can feel kind of yeah. on it. She's got nice. fat. She's fat. Do you want to weigh her up, or are you good? Uh, it's not gonna beat aces. So. <laughs> 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 
And here we are, folks. We got the old smallmouth laid up. We got a couple of potatoes because we're going to make some chips. Fish and chips. Pot for boiling. Pure vegetable oil. Pepper and a mystery seasoning sent to me by a subscriber from Alaska. And with a pile of, well, let's put in one for a test here. Let's make sure it's... That's good. That's good enough. Good enough for government work. Bunch of thin potatoes to make some little potato chips, baby. Look at so, th so thin that light comes through. The thinner you can make them, the crispier and crunchier they will be. Guys, it is time to reveal the mystery spices from Brandon Nanook from Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. Thank you very much. It is Brandon's new favorite. Thank you, Brandon. It is called Alaska Kodiak Cajun. Pop the sealer. Ooh, it's nice and red, kind of an orange, orangish red color down in there. We are gonna sprinkle this right on the fish there. I actually forgot breading, guys. Forgot breading for the smallmouth for frying this up. But this stuff looks like breading. It's very, it's like kind of thick and grainy. And so I think we should be good. I did not plan that. But. Um, looks I got flour if you want You got flour? Yeah, I've got flour bread. Oh. If you want to put like some seasoning in the flour and put it on there? I don't know. You know, I'll take a little flour, please. Yes. All right, my brother just gave this to me. He. Save me. All right, so that'll make it a little better. We'll add a nice little crust. All right, so we got those all floured up, and then then we'll sprinkle this stuff on as a nice coating. Now we will check our potatoes. Ooh, they are looking good, looking good. Just starting to get crispy there. <laughs> Just a minute or two more. It should be perfect. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Look, that one's even like it kind of has a bubble in it. A crispy crunch. There we go, folks. Nice little plate. And we're just going to put some, a lot of salt right over there while they're hot so that the salt kind of sticks to them. Got salty chips. You know what? Right before we well, before we sample those, let them cool just for a second. And we will take these fillets. We'll stick them right in there. Boom. Just like that, folks. And we added a little black pepper to them, too. So we have salt and pepper chips. You guys want to try some salt and pepper chips? Is that the big Yeah, that's a big chip. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Wow. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's tight, bro. Wow. Thank you. Good stuff. Mmm. 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 The crunch. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, this is one of those camping meals anybody can do. And just bring a potato with you. Potato and salt and pepper. And you already can have salt and pepper with you for if you're cooking fish. Have little fish and chips. It's so fun. I highly recommend you guys should try this yourselves. Ooh, it's falling apart, folks. Folks, with this smallie, I realize he's not gonna fit completely whole in there, so we've taken the the head off, and I'm gonna cut the tail off as well. All right. Get him good and breaded. Yo, Pops, would you mind taking the lid off to my, because my hands are all... There you go. There we go. And there we go, my friends. Final smallmouth in there. Let's take a bite of this little guy here. And we didn't get coated up as much as I want with seasoning. That's good. But he's not crispy. And I want that crispiness. While the old smallie's cooking, I'm actually gonna drop a few more chips around it. They should, now that the oil has some of the Cajun in it, the chips should pick up a slight 
Cajun flavor. It's a bit of a strange day, guys, because the fishing happened in flurries. Like, caught some nice fish. But everything happened, like, all of a sudden, boom, boom, we catch a bunch of fish in a row. And then it'd be dead for, like, an hour. We'd, just, we'd go about an hour without catching anything. Which we are in a new lake. We don't know a lot of spots. By the way, look at that. We don't know a whole lot of spots, but still, it was just kind of weird because for it was just little bursts of time yeah man catch this fish and then kind of bored for the rest of the day brother wouldst thou like to sample some small oh, sure. before Thanks, you can bro. you're welcome looks and smells delish Let's see bro your three pronged fork is wigging me yeah out you know my little i hate my three pronged fork i don't know why i still have that there i need yeah. to get rid of that this is this will be the last time we use the goofy three pronged fork it's annoying. He you can like take it. Three <laughs> Here we go. Uh, oh, we're almost there. This is a real struggle. <laughs> struggle Am I, is real. it just me? No, that, that no, it's it's the fork. No. One hundred percent. The fork is dumb. I hate I hate the fork. Mm. Fish on, boys. Fish hold on. on. Oh, oh, you're all hold on oh, to that. Oh, he got off. God gun it. In the in the back of that cove. Yep. Oh my goodness. Mm, that's delicious seasoning. Good. Mm, it's got a kick to it. Mm, that's quite the kick. Yeah. It's one of those spicy. Really Do I get to try some? You can try uh, some. Let me throw my line out. <laughs> Nobody's going to take one for my, for master gets it. I hope. Thank you. Ooh, potatoes too. Go, go and get Papa's fish back in there. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Well, That's my truck. Mmm. <laughs> I like where the skin on. That's good. Uh-huh. Crispy. Smallmouth cooked in oil to mm. me the crispy crunch. Mm -hmm. It's like mm. honey bunches of oats. Crispy crunchy. <laughs> I'm loving this uh, three prong fork. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I got to get rid of that dumb thing. I hate my. <laughs> that's the dumbest <laughs> invention. A tiny three prong fork for camping. Yeah, you can just toss that in the water if you want. <laughs> You're better off eating it with your hands with that uh. goofy thing. My friends, we got a changeable craw two tied. A changeable craw tube tied on. And we're going to fish just a little bit more before that sun goes down. We have a little while longer before we got to get back home. Got one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you saw you saw that too? Like the thump. Nice. You're just dragging it behind. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to drag it across this expanse of flat. If they're spawning, we're getting ready to spawn and just kind of cruising around. It's kind of luck of the draw as far as just covering water with it. That is so cool. Nothing like smallmouth on a tube, man. The only thing better is smallmouth on a top water. But guys, man, on that changeable craw color. Again, if you guys haven't gotten my tackle box, got to check it out. <laughs> Shameless. <man. laughs> yeah, I don't, I just, it'll really help you guys catch more fish. I mean, they were just gobbling this thing. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Bro, bro. Good job on us, three pounder, bro. Well, thank you, thank you. That was, that was my biggest bass of 2020, guys. Pops, thanks for being hey, here. Good time, good fish, good, good time, chips. Good fish, good food, good company. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.